what's happening everybody speedboat clown act 410 coming at you guys so i want to answer a couple of questions um, and comments from a previous video called uh miami to key west poker run because uh, i'm such a clown and have no idea what i'm doing running this channel that i figured i would go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about the discussion and how apparently a comment that i made while I was videoing the actual card stop, uh, it's episode 70 to be exact. It's the Miami to Key West poker run at Coconut Grove, and it was shot back in November. But I said something like, uh, these are the biggest, baddest outboards, you know, out now. And I probably should have said, obviously, by Mercury. Because I'm aware that there is a company that is badass, absolutely, called Seven Marine. And Seven Marine makes a couple different uh, V8 Chevrolet L series motors that are all aluminum, um, that have a 557 horsepower rating and a 626 horsepower rating. So yes, they are the biggest, baddest, physically size-wise, horsepower and torque um, motor you can get absolutely so I did misspeak so let me address that a little bit with a little bit of uh, facts and specifications and let you guys decide what you want to use on your boat hey Buckley wait a minute I don't like the way he said that so basically, the Mercury 400R, okay? This is straight off of uh, Mercury's Mercury Weight Racing's website. I would suggest you guys go there. Obviously, it's mercuryracing.com. If you guys are new to boating, then fine. These things are helpful. If you guys have been around for a while, I always mention this. Don't count on me and all my information. You guys go check it out for yourself. The Mercury 400 uh, horsepower motor, that's the racing series, uh, comes in a cat version, meaning they put them on catamaran, high-speed catamaran boats. And it does come with the, you know, the shorter shaft, uh, so it's not so far down in the water for less drag. The 7 Marine one, that I could tell, doesn't come with that. Um, and again, it is a 627 horsepower rated motor. It is a 6.1 liter L series. Look, I'm not specific in what motor they're using. Well, it's LSX or LSA or LSB or whatever it is. It's an L series Chevrolet motor and it's badass. There's no doubt about it. Uh, that motor, the 627 7 Marine motor, has a 6,000 RPM uh, wide open throttle range. It has an 8 quart pan on it. It is a 376 cubic inch engine with 8.6 to 1 compression, okay, and it weighs a thousand and ninety four pounds, a thousand and ninety four pounds. Okay, the Merc 400, let's go back over to that real quick. It is an inline six, it is not a V6. It's 158 cubic inches, again, opposed to a 376 cubic inch engine. Okay, um, and it's basically a 2.6 liter, 24 valve direct overhead cam, inline six, supercharged. Both of these motors are supercharged. So, and its RPM range is a maximum of 6,400 to 7,000. Okay, so it has basically a 500 to 1,000, 100, 500 to 1,000 revolutions per minute more. Now, it weighs. Physically, they call the dry weight, and so is the seven marine dry weight, 648 pounds. pounds. Okay, again, it weighs 650 pounds. The seven marine motor weighs 1,100 pounds, which last time I added when I did some subtraction back in second grade uh, and cheated off my friend's paper because I couldn't do so well. 446 pounds 
difference per engine. Most boats need two engines. If you're, you know, in the Cat series, the small Cat series, it has one on each side. So all, all my point was, and I'm not sticking up for what my point was in the video when I said the Merc's the biggest, the baddest, 400, blah, blah, blah. We already know that in, uh, Seven Marine has a, 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 a very powerful, awesome motor. But the weight to horsepower ratio, unless it's a, a bigger fishing boat or a boat that has a lot more forward weight to it, where you can counteract the weight of it. And I'm not saying they don't use these on, because I had somebody mention, you know, hey, I got them things on my, uh, uh, I think he said, you know, Outer Limits 43. I got a couple of them on the back, or, or three or four on the back. That's awesome. It's a bigger, longer boat. We're talking about what that motor is compared for the weight for what you get out of it. Four hundred and forty six pounds of weight in the back of a boat bolted right to the back of a boat like a lever pulling down on the boat. Uh, you know, an average man, me, I need to watch a little bit of what I'm eating. I've been eating a lot of boat shops. You know, two hundred pounds, that's two people riding on the boat. So you got two motors, that's four extra people on the boat that you would not just be riding on the boat, but riding on the back of the boat. So let's get a couple of big heavy set people on the back of the boat and stand on the boat while you're riding. I'm not saying that the boat can't get up on plane. I'm just saying compared to what these light carbon fiber hybrid cats are using, they can't seem to find a niche yet. Guys, it'll come out in the next six months now that we're talking about it. A way that this seven marine motor can end up going on to this catamaran situation. So here's some of the ratios. Uh, the Merc 400, uh, from the spec that I saw, you know, in the R Cat series, comes in a 1.75 ratio to 1. Okay? The 7 Marine has two different options a 147. and a 161, so obviously a little lower of a ratio coming from the small block Chevy uh, 7 Marine situation. So again, you know, I'm not saying one motor is better than the other, but for the most part, until they find a way to reduce weight, um, they got the horsepower and the torque with those uh, engines, they're awesome. But to reduce the weight, to use them on these lighter, more nimble cats, uh, they're going to stay on bigger boats and uh, more prestigious fishing boats and center consoles that are, you know, 30 plus, uh, 35, 36, 38, 40 feet long and, and motivate those puppies across the water. That's probably what I'm thinking. But again, it's just my, you know, two cents and my opinion. So the other thing I wanted to touch base with you guys about and just remind you um, is uh, we've got our, our friend Doug Mooney here making sure that we're doing a good job with this amateur sucky boating channel that we're running because I know you guys just want to make sure that it's highly polished uh, oh this isn't so bad I, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this I'll be able to puff this out no problem keep everything going and I appreciate Doug looking over us man it makes me know that I got to be on my game so guys don't forget this Saturday at 1 30 p.m. the Key West Sunday race okay, which was down in Key West the first or second week of November, is now going to be aired on NBC Sports at 1.30 this Saturday. That's the big Sunday race, and it was a lot of action, and I know a lot of you guys are into the information of all this and have seen some other videos, but this is coming straight from the good cameras, NBC Sports, and all the awesome commercials that go along with it with, you know, AMH construction and, and all those commercials, and it's, it's pretty cool. So hope you guys were able to catch those other uh, videos on NBC Sports. The other thing I'd like to do is, uh, you guys got a second? I got a message yesterday, a direct message, you know, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of nice. So anybody who has a, a, a soft heart, might want to stay. Anybody who doesn't can click off right now and go watch something else. That's because I'm not talking to you. It's kind of it's kind of nice. It says Wes, I love your channel. I follow you very religiously. You definitely make you definitely have my dream boat. Well, I, thank you. I appreciate that. But it's got a little ways to go for me. But it's awesome and I enjoy it. Hopefully we can get it wet. 
Just read the thing, Wes. Doug, read it for us. I hate to see that you're selling it. I appreciate something older that has character and is well-maintained. Well, thank you. It's not exactly well-maintained, but I maintain it the best I can with the funds that I have and the time that I have on my hands. I got to spend a lot more time running this crappy YouTube channel. Penniless, broke, busted, and a dummy. So, it says, keep up the good fight, brother. You ever make it to the Lake Cumberland Poker Run, look me up. And I would love to meet the speedboat maniac. Well, I appreciate that very much. And it says, you know, it says, I feel the passion, man. I'm right there with you. I can't wait to see that beast run out on the bay. Well, hopefully, it'll be run out on the bay pretty soon. Uh, it may be another couple, three months before we get it out. Uh, but it says, best regards, Ohio Mike. Ohio Mike, thanks a lot, and I appreciate it. And he's not the only one that gives me support. There's a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, people who send me, you know, private messages and, and, and message down in the comment section all the, all the time. Yeah, Benny, Tim, Dan, um, Christian. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of guys, and I appreciate it. It's been a, it's been a, a, an odd past eight or nine months, but I've enjoyed it. And again, guys, I appreciate it. And um, always, Speedboat Maniac coming at you guys. And um, you guys have a good day and the rest of this afternoon. And I hope that information. Regarding all of this, with regard to the, the 400R and the 627 7 Marine. I squared all that away. Neither one is better than the other. They both have their uh, aspects that are, are good and both have uh, downfalls about them. But we look at the positive and I appreciate you guys coming along always. Again, we'll see you guys on the next one. God bless. Okay, this is a serious matter. We're pulling up to the prescription uh, situation over here. And I don't know how long the line's going to be. we got to make our Walgreens run and our DG run. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening right now. Alright, so we'll go over to the dollar shop. Dallas, what you doing, buddy? No, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, please. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah. We got some happy pills. We're looking for happy pills. 